Walking all alone by the subway Had to catch up and muster the proper words to say Girl, your fun's looking nice and so fluffy What kind of meat did you get in there? I'm so hungry Then she turned around to me With that PLT She took it off open for me Show me something sweet And I would never have thought to have that song That's when I knew that you were the one, girl you can be the sandwich of my life I'll make it with me It's not as big as when it was We could live in the bread We can mix it, say it, cheese The only sandwich I want you to make Is with me, with me You're the sandwich with me Having fun playing in the grass They're not us But it reminds me what we used to have That time we took pictures of kids in the grass You told me we'd be BFs forever So tell me who the F be Trevor He tagged you in a pic Instagram I saw it, you and him at a favorite spot And I just wanna know, does he make you laugh? Does he have your back when you got an itch? Does he give a scratch? Have a secret hand shaking it with the snap Like we had, like we had Does he spend the night four days in a row? Does he let you borrow his favorite clothes? Did you really think I never would have known About your side, bro? I can tell this song My night's not good enough for you anymore You used to send me emojis Now it's just a parenthesis Where the eyes go To your side, bro We even share the same Netflix account Orange is a new black every Sunday night at my house Logged on, it told me that it was recently watched Do I even have to guess who that was? I can tell that something's me I don't I can tell that something's missing I don't know who you are when you're with him Oh, you act a different way The words you choose to say I've tried to look away But we both know That you got a side bro me
I'm sitting on my bed. I'm contemplating life. All the struggles in my head. I've been waiting for so long. Had time to write this song. What did I do wrong? I'm like a ghost in your chat room. No one's talking when I do. I always send in the best troops. I got her clan name tattooed. So why does no one like me? You never invite me to war. And I wish you would send me my castle. I'm feeling so ignored Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I, am I just go to you Never missing a request That ever came from you, came from you. Rain I'm raiding every day as my archers die away. I hunt elixir for your base to improve. Another war is declared, but I'm not there. I quit my job for this group and got my clan name tattoo. So why does no one like me? You never. Wish you would send me my castle's empty. I'm feeling so ignored. Whoa, 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 whoa. My shields my coming to an end. My walls are broken, broken in. I can't defend from your negligence. And right, right before my eyes, I got notified to my surprise for the first time in my life. I see troops, my castle is full. I was wrong, they cared all along. But then I checked, now I know I have no friends. Cause a real friend wouldn't send level one, God bless! So why does no one like me? You never invite me to war. And I wish you would send me my castle's empty. I'm feeling so ignored. Sorry guys, went a little bit longer than usual, but um, I may have to be, maybe taking some breaks. Hair? No, I didn't get a haircut. It just fell differently. Um, I may have to take some breaks out today because I actually have diarrhea. I don't have diarrhea. I just been shitting a lot. I started a new diet a few days ago, and it's finally taking into effect. <clears throat> I don't, it's not actually diarrhea. I shouldn't say that because I don't want to get it. Uh, <laughs> a new diet for like the... I go through phases of dieting, you know? So I started a couple of days ago and now the effects are starting to... 
Yeah, I have. I've been eating a lot of fiber. <laughs> so I've been like pooping a lot. Um, I normally hate vegetables, but I I'm in my my dieting phase. We go through a few few times a year. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Fiber's good. I like I I just don't like I don't like vegetables. I don't know what it is. There's a lot of, you know, like as you get older, you're supposed to like enjoy those things and adjust. I feel like I've gotten used to to eating it, but I, if I have a choice, I'll never eat it. So, anyway, if you see me going to the bathroom long, actually I go to the bathroom a lot, but if I stay in there longer, uh, you know why. Don't be so worried, okay? <laughs> I'll just play longer ads. <clears throat> just in case, because I've been having some weird, some weird stomach uh, rumblings lately. Um, <clears throat> anyway, good morning, guys. Uh, we have. What do we have? We're gonna play. I hit up Sid. We were gonna play some Cupid Zirconia games. Uh, but I think Janet wanted to play, so we may play some gold games. Um. And it's been a while since we played with Zhan Zhan, so I think it would be nice if if Sid's cool with dropping dropping down a little bit. <clears throat> Plus, it might be good for warm up, regardless. You know, going straight into uh, Cubic Zirconia games are kind of rough, kind of rough. Whoops, oh, sorry. I was watching this dude's channel. Uh, sorry. I was watching this dude's channel on YouTube. Um. I don't know who he is, but I just, it popped up into my feed. And what he does is like just straight up experiments on Valorant. Like he like will play, like I'm sure you guys may have seen it. Like he'll have like five Radiance versus five Immortals. And to see like how big a difference it is. <clears throat> so I was watching some of those videos and I was just like, well, there was a lot of really interesting ones. <laughs> Like I saw one that was just like three three radians try to climb and basically they have to beat different ranks so they played like uh, uh, three radians against five irons and then if they win that then they move on to five uh, bronze then five silver then five gold and they made it all the way up to diamond I think they even beat the five plats which makes sense right um, but it just goes to show you like. It's just such a different level. Even the five immortals versus the five radiance. Um, supposedly, I guess, I don't know if it's true or how it works or if it's just for like dramatic effect, but the five immortals were like, we deserve radiant. So they played against the five radiance and they got destroyed. They got absolutely destroyed. And the funny thing is, when you hear the comms of like the lower ranks, it's so much more toxic. It's always more toxic than the radiance. And I think that's a commonality with like lower ranked games. And I think that I feel like people, I wish they would watch that and, and learn. Like stop being so toxic. It doesn't make you better. Anyway, <clears throat> I was watching that uh, this morning. Lilac, dude, Lilac, thank you for the three gifted subs. Oh, and the four, four gifted subs. Lilac, thank you. Uh, Mooney June, thank you for the five. Uh, Rod the Rod, thank you for the six. Welcome back. Lilac! I don't, I honestly don't even remember how to say your name correctly. It's just gonna be Lilac. I don't remember the real way to say it. Lilac? That doesn't exist in my head. Lilac. Mmm, that's a lie. Lilac. <clears throat> Uh, shoot. Oh, Abby. Abby, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Um, lower elo players are so toxic. Yes, I found that. I thought it, maybe it was because I was in like Smurf queue. But yeah, I would agree with that. <coughs> Not saying that they, those toxic people don't exist in higher elos. But I think um, they've. The difference is. I'm try, I tried to figure it out. I think the difference is. People who play in Radiant, Immortal, they they grind the game so much that those little things are so silly. Like it's like not worth the effort and time. Getting triggered over something is not worth it either, you know. 
Uh, so I think that's that's the difference. I could be wrong. Uh, but I just thought it was so interesting that the comms Good to were so go. different. <laughs> First round, nice rags. 2-0 uh, on the way out for Manders and Diarrhea. Ni Awashi, thank you for the diarrhea. I actually kind of have it. Okay, it's not that. I should stop saying that. Cause I don't actually want to get diarrhea. Um, thank you for the diarrhea. You just have a lot of shit to come out. Thanks for the pooters. Um, hmm. It's also really hard to climb with a bad mental. True. True. Because you are going to lose. We went on a crazy winning streak since yesterday, and we lost our final game at the end. Uh, but that is that is a very rare occurrence. That's why we ranked up so fast. Like, normally, you go up and down and then slowly climb if you actually belong there. Um, but we just happened to get good teams. And I think a lot of it was the fact that we played uh, three, was it? We played three uh, threes instead of fives. It seemed a lot easier. I don't know. It could just be in my head. <clears throat> and we got really good teammates. Our teammates were always, except for that one time, were really nice. Um, and I think that helps a lot. That they actually, like, communicate. And they're not, like, upset about everything. They keep, a, like, a pretty positive attitude. Um, the, the Outjura, Outjura, thank you for the dono, bro, you're my childhood, human iPod killed me, it's been so long since I've been able to watch you, literally a child watching, you know, dude, if you were there around watching the human iPod, that is 2007, I don't even know, that is like in high school, I think, for me, um, but I appreciate it, man, thank you for, for sticking around, <clears throat> but you played against Diamond and Immortals, you deserve it's not really a deserve thing. It's not. A, it's it's just a matter of like, can you hang? You know, because to me, I still say if you can, if you're bottom fragging as a duelist in in any rank, you probably don't belong there. Like consistently, um, which we did a couple times, but we were able to get out of that. We're not always sucking, you know. Uh, Lilac, thank you for the five hundred bits. Yesterday was better than the day before that. Let's just put it that way. Um, Lilac, thank you. Lilac, L Lilac. Um, <clears throat> who's asking about casual flexing? It's a, it's a scam, guys. Don't casually flex. I literally put that as a scam to get rid of your points, and people still do it. Sheep, freaking sheep, I tell you. Even me mentioning it now, someone's gonna is about to do it. Look at it. Look at that sheep. You freaking sheep. <laughs> Thank you for using your... You fools! Thank you for using your points. I should say this more often. So you guys stop redeeming good stuff. Um, wait, hold on. I, all the casual flexing is pushing the lights down. What color was it? What color was, I didn't get to see all the casual... My feed is just casual flex. Um, what color? Blue. Blue. It's very blue. Dabu. Guys, I was sad about the... Um, I don't know if you guys were watching D&D yesterday, but we didn't get to play. But I was actually kind of excited about it. I think I'm finally appreciating it a little bit more. Um, I'm Because I'm actually understanding the game a little bit more. So I, And I feel less like nervous about saying things out loud to the group. <clears throat> Arcadian was just, yeah, I felt really bad for him. He felt more bad than we did. Like, he felt more upset about it. Like, none of us were upset that we had to, like, reschedule. But he was very, like, upset. I know he wants things to always go really well. And he wants us to have a good experience. But, like, Arcadian's such a good dude, man. He cares a lot about his games. Um, that's why we were trying to, like, even after his stream or, like, we logged out, we were, like, messaging him and being like, don't worry about it at all. Like the fact that you're even letting doing this for us, I feel like people would pay for his for him to be their DM, you know. Yeah, so I felt bad, um, but we are gonna oh, wait. People do pay him. Oh, I didn't know that. You know what? I kind of feel like we should be paying him. <laughs> I mean, I know that we like 
it helps because we're we're more known. But I like I didn't know like people just paid him. Because it's a lot of work, man, for him. It's a lot of work. Uh, but I guess he is streaming it, too, at the same time. I did not know that he just did that for people. That's pretty sick. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing to uh, Calculus textbook. Thank you for the eight months. He's running so many games, it's got to be stressful. Yeah, and... Oh, the Canalt! Canalt! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Canalt. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I wish you could play Fallout Friends, but I don't have any. You can you can make some, British. There's probably some in chat. Or the Discord, I know that people met in there, and they played together. There's people of all ranks here. You could probably just make some. I know in the Discord people have, people play all the time. They become go. online nice friends. Rounds, nice frags. Uh, <laughs> Nate. Two O on the Dude, way Nate. out for Manders and diarrhea. Nate, thank you for the diarrhea. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <clears throat> it's not easy making friends. I feel like it is though. In in the dis like it, it's not like you, you just keep it casual. I feel like a lot of people were getting along. Um. As long as you're nice. <clears throat> even here, a lot of people just met in the chat. I see them talking even in the offline chat. Guys, you don't have to be the closest of friends to play Valorant. You can be literally like, oh, I recognize this name. Oh, they're not toxic? Let's play together. You could do that too. Even if you play solo games, if you enjoy playing with someone else, just ask them if they want to play some more. Add them. And if they're toxic, remove them. You don't have to know who they are to play with them. <clears throat> I think a lot of people are just afraid to reach out to someone they don't know in fear of being rejected. And like, you have to keep in mind, you're also pretty much anonymous, a lot of you, because you're not streaming it. Don't be afraid to be rejected. Because it doesn't make it, it's not embarrassing if they don't want to add you. Stop calling me out. It's true, though. That's that's the reason why I, I would be scared when I was younger, too, talking to somebody that I didn't know. Um, I was terrified of that. I had that same anxiety. I still do to this day. Uh, but it's gotten better because I forced myself out of that box a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> it's embarrassing if you play badly. There's going to be British. There's going to be other people that are just as bad and you guys can grind together maybe you'll be the best one in that group and they'll respect you for it you know just give it a shot you could always you could always remove them from your list <coughs> interact more and more on twitter every day and i'm proud of myself yeah tit uh, twitter <laughs> titter <laughs> sorry twitter can be a uh, um I think it's a little bit different because it's very public, right? Your conversations. Um, <laughs> guys, guys, come on. Come on, guys. Let's grow up, okay? Coming from the guy who still laughs at the diarrhea thing. All right. So, Titter is a little bit different. I think you can make friends on that, but it is a little bit more public. Um, but it works the same way. Put yourself out there, you know? Uh, we got to run reacts. I, uh, let me see. Let me check the chat. What this is. Dude versus wild. There's nothing. This is an old one. There's nothing copyright in here, right? I think I started making my own music then. We can do this one. It's pretty short. Good to go. <laughs> Good to go. Sleep junkie. 950 bits. Thank you so much. Diarrhea. Thank you. Yeah, I think I started using i made the sound effects for this all right so this is another round reacts and it's back in the day when videos were shorter let's go good to go oh that's dick sorry sorry um <clears throat> i remember making the sound effect for uh in fl studio 
because I couldn't use. This is when I learned about copyright and stuff. Um, and I also learned a different way to make these texts. I think I was starting to use Final Cut. And you can tell that I was using Final Cut and I didn't know what I was doing because of this title. Do you see what's wrong with this title? Do you see it? Look at the wild. Watch the wild. <laughs> it was... <laughs> no, not the centeredness. I wanted it to be here. But watch the wild. It's like he's... It's like we're putting on a play and each each word was supposed to come in, but the wild came in too early. I was like, oh, shoot. You see? <laughs> anyway, I remember posting this and being like, that is not enough for me to remove this video. He was a little shy there. Anyway. Right now, we're in the desert. This is no place for fun and games. You do not want to get lost out I was here. a big fan of Man vs. Wild. Every year, stupid tourists get lost out here every week. <laughs> Got a little rough on the dismount, but uh, we're good. Let's go. Come on. You can tell how long we're out here. Minutes and I'm completely starving. How dark I am. Eat fast or my tummy's gonna hurt. Stop. I have to be really <clears throat> careful. These are one of the most dangerous creatures of the desert. The hippopotamus. Dude, it was so man. hot that day. Good. We had to take Marley but in and out of the car. Wrong. All right, I'm gonna sneak up from his rear and grab him. That's where I'll take him, right? This is incredibly dangerous. So don't ever try this at home. Do it somewhere else. Poor it was Marty. a bit risky, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, you can pretty much find these uh these canned vegetables pretty much anywhere you go. Uh, especially in the deserts. Uh, you just gotta know where to look. I don't and know if you guys can um <laughs> if you guys watch Man vs. Wild. Uh, <laughs> the accent so that bad. Is just, that is just awful. This is just awful. It was awful. Luckily, uh there's a technique that I heard about from my mother's father's grandson where you just take a big whiff uh, and uh, that is much much mother's better. father's the ancient grandson. natives use this technique to absorb half the vitamins and minerals because half the taste is in the smell if you guys watch right. that show we really need to get moving we have a lot of ground to cover I have to get moving now <clears throat> before the Sun goes down because I'm his afraid of ghosts. his voiceovers are so monotone. I need to find some shelter. And that's what I found funny and why I wanted I think to do it's this. It's about time to find some shelter <laughs> because I don't know what time it's gonna get dark here. But uh, luckily, uh, I usually I usually have a watch, but uh, luckily I have my cell phone so I can use it like a sundial. Oh my god, a BlackBerry! About, Guys, that is an ancient relic. It's about 10:30 p.m. right now, so we really need to get started. I had a BlackBerry. The ancient natives use this technique with their cell phones, but it's not always completely accurate. I was off by about six Dude, that's hours. Dude, that's history. I have to work hastily because the sun is going down and I need something to protect me from all the predators and aliens. So I've been working about five hours now and uh, I, think I, got, I think I got enough shelter to last me the night. Shelter. Right here. Shelter. Not bad. it's no time bad. for rest. I have to get moving. This terrain is incredibly disorienting. Guys, we filmed this whole thing I can navigate on a stars. on a HD so flip cam. <laughs> star, all you have to do is follow it, and it will always, always lead you home. Fifty percent of the time. Who was filming it? My me, uh, roommate, not Jason. One of those times. I'm completely lost. There he is. <laughs> right now. Anyway, um, thanks for wasting your points. That was when I was really into Man vs. Wild, as you could tell. Right now, we're in the deserts. That's how he would say. He'd be, like, talking normally and everything, but his voiceovers, is like when he went into the studio, Bear Grylls was like, I don't know, like, he had to be more serious, like a document, like, like he was doing a documentary or something. Right now. There's people in chat clapping. <laughs> That's how we would say it. There's people in chat clapping. Right.
right now. Alright. I think that's good. Oh yeah, and then we did the sequel one with Sean. Because uh, he had a new show that came out called like Running With like Running With Bear Grylls. And he would bring celebrities on his show. Which I also thought was pretty funny. I don't know. I like Bear Grylls. I like that show. We've learned a lot of things. A lot of things. Watch that. It's a little bit longer. It could. <clears throat> the one with Sean. Is Sean even here? What time is it? No lunch break yet, Sean. There's no lunch break yet. This one's long, though, guys. It's kind of long. Oh, we also did the snow one. But I think the one I'm talking about is the one that we do with Sean. Could you survive in the wild? Depends on how long. How long? Uh, we have... Oh, we still have a lot of time. Yeah, we could watch this too, I suppose. But it's pretty long. Um. Sorry, hold on. Whoops. Uh, to react. No, guys, guys, guys. I didn't say I was doing it yet. <laughs> no wasting of points. You're right. You're right. I'm not going to do it. We got to milk your points. You said scammed. <laughs> The Pope, thank you for the Twitch Prime. The Jinx Slime, Rip Hunter, thank you as well. Ah, you're right, you're right. All right. You know what? Since people, since people have redeemed so much casual flexes, we will do it for free. Keep wasting your points flexing, guys. Because that that'll also waste your points, you know. All right. Oh yeah, keep going, keep it going, sheep. Sheep. All right. This is uh the one that we do with Sean. Uh, this was the next level like of his show after Man vs Wild. He had the show called Running with. We still called it Dude vs Wild because it would make more sense for us. Uh, but he would bring people along with him. Uh, like celebrities and stuff. And I thought it was around this time. I guess three years ago. I'm Ryan Eager, and each week I'll be taking a different celebrity with me to survive in the wild. Marshawn Lynch, Channing Tatum, Nick Jonas, Courtney Cox, even President Obama himself have all said no to being on the show. So instead, we have local celebrity Sean Fujiyoshi, best known for his work in those viral how to be videos back in 2007 <laughs> with his super cool best friend who is smart and funny and can most definitely do an ollie. Sick. I still don't think Sick. you got off the ground. I did! Sean will be Sick. pushed to his limits. I do think we should get down this. Should we like... <laughs> He'll be tested like he's never been tested before. All right, here's some quick trivia for you. If it's about 65 degrees for Googly right now and the sun's setting in the east, where would you find Kanye West? Kanye? Yeah. The, at, at home? No, no, no. He would be in the north. I could start a... What? And you'll see a side of him that the world has never seen. Oh, Thank God. God. Really? Can we a guy did take this. A... He seriously. This we learned from all the previous ones. This why. Don't do it in the snow. Don't do it in the summer. Oh, no, I don't know what's what's happening right now. This is right when now. the temperatures I, were so Ryan nice. Told me he's gonna meet me here with like some kind of helicopter or something because that's what Bear Grylls does on his show. But I don't know. I was just with him like 10 minutes ago, so <laughs> kind of just like. I think a this show's on Hulu now. Time, you know. I guess we'll see what he has in mind. So right now, we're headed over to Sean, who's in the uh, Nevada mountains. I actually think we're pulling up on his location right now. Sick. Uh, oh, I think I see him. <sighs> All right, I'm here at the spot, and I have no <laughs> idea where he is. It's, it's, right that's here. just green screen. Right All right, here we go. Like they say in France, adios, amigos. Woo! Got him. Ah, here we go. How you doing, <laughs> Sean? That's it? Uh, what's that? You're not even gonna wear like a fake parachute? I'm not even gonna wear a fake pair of shoes. Really? Crocs? Crikey, mate. 
<laughs> Come on. It's not even the same accent. Sean and I have a long, okay. boring, uneventful walk ahead of us before we reach our first stop. So it's a good thing we have multiple angles, beautiful shots of nature, and very important life-changing questions do this so to much. that time. Hey, you know those survival shows where they uh, cut to a bunch of shots of, and angles of people walking and whatnot? Yeah, why? Well, don't you think, like, in that one wide shot that they have... I always think Don't this. you have a one, like, where, where's all the cameramen, you know? You think with all the different angles and whatnot, you'd see like a few people here and there and hey look, we're at the end of the wide. That literally you can just walk in silence now. Literally means they reach the right. same thing. Yes. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So we've been out here for about <coughs> three or four minutes now and I think I'm about ready to go home now. Alright, Sean. Here's our first challenge. What? We gotta keep heading in this direction, so what we're gonna need to do is climb this cliff right here, make it to the top, and push forward. Are you serious? That's so dangerous. I'm not gonna climb that. Sean, we have to climb this. You just told me that we're gonna go on like a little hike. I didn't think we we're gonna do anything crazy like this. Can't we just like walk around it? I mean, if you wanna hike another 20 miles that way and spend another day out here, I suppose we could do that. But if you don't wanna do that, we have to climb this cliff. I'm trying to figure out where do we film Sean, this? Sean, I've been a survival expert for about this four, is not my five. House. Maybe even six minutes now. I'm not going to let remember. anything bad happen to you. You have nothing to worry about. Would you trust me? No. Oh, well then. We are in quite the cucumber dipped in vinegar, aren't we? That's a pickle, by the way. You know what a pickle is? A lot of, lot of natives had pickles. <laughs> I really don't want to spend another day with you. Fine. Yeah? Let's do it. All right, Shawnee boy. Uh oh, pickles. Spirit. Climbing a cliff is no easy task. It's incredibly dangerous and should not be attempted without a professional. However, if it's your first time rock climbing, you'll have beginner's luck and that should be enough. All right, I guess all that's left to do is to just go and climb this mountain then. Shouldn't we like throw a rope or something up there to like give us support in case we fall? You know what? You could be a survival expert yourself. Good catch, Sean. I almost forgot about this. All right. So whenever you're climbing a cliff or a mountain or any kind of really dangerous heights where you could possibly fall, uh, what you want to do, especially if you have a bunch of rope like so, coil it up like this, bunch it up just like that, and then you're just gonna wait, throw it up. Wait, what the? <sighs> just like that. And, uh, and then you should be good to go because the last thing you want when you're climbing a cliff mm -hmm. is using any kind Take of rope. Notes. You don't want to mess with it and then all of a sudden you get all tangled and then you know you, you might mistake it for some kind of snake and you're, you're like, oh no, snake, let me let go of this cliff. Yeah, I'm about 100% <laughs> sure that he's Stupid, never climbed dude. anything ever in his life. It's hard but to remember options, some of this because we did improv a lot of possibly it. Possibly die or not climb the cliff and <clears> spend another day with him, so. But I can see why it's so long yeah, I now. I think I'd rather risk dying, so. Sean has no idea, but uh, I've actually never climbed a cliff before. Um, I, I mean, I didn't lie, I have rock climbed, but it was one of those cliffs with the colorful rocks and the people hoist you up and stuff. Uh, so it's a little bit safer, but uh, I've never actually climbed a cliff. Even with that rock wall, I, I only made it about a quarter of the way up. Then I got scared. I do have an uncle named Cliff, though. So there's that. All right, so I'm gonna go up there first. Um, just an remember, uncle. whatever you do, do not an look uncle. down and do not panic. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make in the wild. So, just follow after me. Let me go up. Here we go. Whenever you're rock climbing, you must always. What time are we supposed to play? 10:30. 10:30. One 10 step at a time. Make one wrong move, and it could all be over. <laughs> yeah, this is the weirdest that was a really close hill. One. Oh, it's literally I dirt. On all the way back. Oh. Oh God. You okay? I look down, I don't like heights. I shouldn't have looked down. What, what do I do? Sean, I know I, <laughs> you I should change. have done this, Sean, help. But you're not even that high right now. You can just walk right back down. Help me, Sean. You're I not even at the steep part. I literally can't move you, I need you to help me. Okay, okay. Literally. Just, just hurry up. Just calm hurry. down, just calm down. Just calm down. Okay. Come here. Help, okay. It's okay. Hug me. It's okay. Hug. There you go, okay. Go, walk back, <laughs> walk back, slowly. Okay, okay, we'll just slide slide down Look the hill. Look how dirty it is. Okay, here, it's just straight here. dirt. You okay? It's just falling apart. Oh, okay. Just give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't right. a mountain uh, at all. A new plan. I just thought of it. Uh, since <clears> the rope <throat> is still up there. You know, actually only one of us needs to go up there. And, the, and then once you get up there, you can help pull the other person up with the rope. Okay, sounds good. Right. So when you get up there, what I want you to do... Wait, me? Yeah. Why, why do I have to go up? Because I'm heavier. What? You're not even that much heavier than me, and even if you were, how is it better for the lighter person to pull up the heavier person? Science. 
So see, I'll it, tell you, you see, what, it would be easier for Sean to get up because he's lighter. Go, I'll be right below so you. The, so just the in case dirt you doesn't fall, break. I'll be they left right that part there out. To take off my bag and throw it on the ground so you have something to fall on and you'll be fine. Sound good? <clears throat> yes, let's just get this over with. All right, let's do Guys, this. Guys, in, in a cheerleader pyramid, you put <sighs> the you lightest one on top. It makes sense. Perfectly. That's science. But it seems Sean is starting to fatigue as he approaches the top. I have to think fast and come up with a backup plan just in case he gets stuck. Do this. Oh my god, I made it. Atta boy, Sean A. Yes. Well, that was awesome, Sean. That was absolutely phenomenal. How'd you get up here? You're you're just down there. Oh yeah, see, it's so funny. You're gonna laugh at this. So at the end there, I thought you were gonna fall. I went to go gather some leaves and you know brush and some rocks for you to fall on. And uh, in the process, on the side of the mountain, I found this trail that comes all the way to the top. Isn't that funny? We didn't need to climb at all. Yeah, funny. Hey, you have to check this out. This view Love is amazing. Get songs. over here. It's Sean and I Reality show songs. Of nature, I realized that it's oh, the they always had this section in the show too. Emotional part of the show. They always like get all emotional while they're looking at like some really nice right view. All right. Yeah. Before he passed, he used to always take us camping and fishing, and he just loved everything about nature, so I really wish he could have been here. Yeah, no, I can definitely relate to that. I forgot and this I've was I've always wanted here. to bring my own father out here as well. He's the, he's the same way as your grandfather, and, uh, but you know, recently he, he passed, so. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's fine. It's, it is what it is, but uh, I just, you know, I really wish that one day he could really just be out here with me, you know, and get to see this. Hey, I think he already is. What? What? You're not my father. No, not me. I meant like his spirit. His cause... spirit? What are you, what, that's not funny. You're trying to say that my father's dead? What? You just said he passed. Yeah, I asked him to come out here and he said, thanks son, but I'll have to pass. I would spend an entire day with you in the wild for your stupid little show, but I'd much rather be dead than do that. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not a good impressionist and he has a weird accent, but my, my point is, is that he's not dead. It's a really messed up thing to say, actually. Your comedy is a little bit too dark for me. Anyway, we better get moving before it actually gets dark out. I mean, we don't want to end up like your grandfather, right? <laughs> right? Dark. You get it? Because you're, because when it gets dark, the predators might attack us, and we might end up. Like, yes, I get it. God. Dark comedy, guys. No, I don't think you get it because you don't want laughing. It's a funny joke. Okay then. He's a little mad. Dark. Sometimes in the wild, dark comedy can get a little get frustrating, dark. and I'm starting to suspect. There's something there. Someone's getting a little irritable. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty <clears> annoyed. I mean, aren't you guys? <laughs> Sean's irritableness is probably due to the hunger settling in. If we don't find nutrients for him soon, he may catch a bad case of the hangries and up. literally starve to death. All right, so we're actually really close to the extraction point. We just got to climb one more hill. But if we're going to make it all that way, we have to find some food and nutrients for Sean before he starves to death. What? I'm not even starving. I'm not even hungry. But luckily for him, I know exactly where to look, and I'm not gonna let that happen, so come on. We ate like two hours ago before we started this. When you're in the wild, you have to be resourceful and know where to look. It may take some time, but you have to be persistent and keep your cool. You can't expect food to just magically fall out of a tree. Hey, check this out. Right here. And that is how you do it. See, a lot of people don't think to look up in a tree for food, but it's actually very common for people to just get a bucket of chicken, bring it out to the forest, mm -hmm. and then just... Classic chicken in a tree. No. <laughs> no way. What? What's wrong? No f***ing way. <laughs> Who the f***? All, every single one of them has no skin. Who the f***? What kind of f***ing greedy b just comes in here and just eats all the skin and leaves all f***ing all the dry ass meat? Pointless. It's f***ing pointless. What kind of f dumb f***? This rock. He's, he's <laughs> rock. really upset. I guess that's just like his pet peeve or something, but I don't know, maybe rock. the dude just really loves fried chicken skin. I mean, it's common sense. It's common courtesy, basic manners, you know? Like, <clears throat> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna leave a bucket of chicken on a branch in a tree in the middle of the Nevada mountains, don't eat all the skin, or it's just the, best the part. skin. Or at least leave some gravy or something. Dry ass meat. Hey, you all right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good now, so I'm, I, Listen, I am so sorry about that, Sean. Oh, oh no, this no, scene took fine. so long to That's do. A totally reasonable way to react to not having chicken skin on your chicken. Nope. 
no, no. I know it's a natural reaction that everybody, anybody would have, but I should know better than to overreact. You never want to overreact in the wild. That's one of the basic rules. Never lose your cool. And I did. So for that, I'm sorry. What? Come on now. We really, we really don't have to hug. We gotta right? do this, Sean. If you wanna go home, let's just get this over with. Come on now, bring it in. Fine. <laughs> much better. Much, much better. How many takes? A few of them. A few of them. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? I have to be sure. Sure of what? You didn't take the skins. And you didn't. And now I can trust you for life. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this took so long. The Nevada mountains are incredibly dangerous. No one broke. Right no one broke. And knowledge and maintaining character. your cool, you'll persevere. You hear that? Chopper's right over this hill. You mean this is the end? This is the end, Sean. Yes, this is the end. You mean it's finally over? Sean really, really impressed me today, and uh, he's definitely earned my respect. Not because of the bravery he showed or the endurance that he had the entire <clears> trip, but uh, because he didn't take the skins. And in the end, that's all that really matters, isn't it? All right, come on, Sean. Last push. Oh. 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 Finally oh. made it. Oh. I can't believe we made it. Oh. You guys got an extra battery or a charger? Sorry. <laughs> What's all of this? Where's the helicopter? Oh, yeah, you know about that. Um, I don't think you know this, but you know in the very beginning with the whole helicopter dropping me off? Yeah, we faked that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, th there was no actual helicopter. There's no helicopter. Wait, so you're telling me that we're gonna have to- Yeah, we gotta walk back. <laughs> and that was another free Ryan Reacts. Right now. I have to check my Discord because people were messaging in the middle of that Ryan reacts. One sec. 10.30. Sweet. Hmm. Oh, okay. Alrighty, we have 20 minutes. 20 minutes-ish. Um... <clears throat> No, that's enough reacts, right? We've done. We knocked out. We knocked out two of them. Right now, um, I do need to grab another boosty soon. Um, thanks for all the flexors. Yeah, you know what? That was worth the points because we got rid of a lot of points. So, warm up game. Well, we might. We might hop on. Yeah, we could do that too. <clears throat> Diamond three today. No, we're doing a uh, gold first. We're doing some gold lobbies. Maybe we'll hop in and switch accounts. Uh, but we're, we want to play with Janet. And I don't think she has an account that's plat. So. Regardless, it'll be good to warm up. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do girly girl. Okay. I know we haven't played with Janet in a long time. Hold on. Chang Chang? Mm, girly Girl is the only one. We don't want to use the silver account if we don't have to. Let's go Girly Girl. I mean, you have a lot of... Yeah, but I don't want to, like, use the low one if we don't have to. I don't even remember which is what. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure she has silver three or gold. Whoops. Uh. Oh, no. An error again. Please relaunch the client to reconnect. Here we go. Uh. Don't tell me we have to restart. 
Was there an update or something? What's your rank on Diary Gut? There's two now. There's the one that hasn't been ranked or placed, and then there's one that I changed my main account. So one hasn't been placed, sorry. Get on here. Okay. One second, one second. Okay, I am going to pee, grab a boosty, and we'll do a warm-up game since we have some time. All right, I will be right back. BRBZs, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Warm up game. Okay. Uh, Lumo. Lumos or Lumo, thank you for the sub. The Pope, uh, Fleet Street, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Match. Oh my found. God, Insta Q. When will we get Diarrhea again? Death um, Warm shoot, what should I practice, guys? Sheriffing? <clears throat> okay. Waking up, waking up. They will hide you. Fight! I will be their nightmare. Damn it. The fan? Oh, I should do that too, but I really want to learn the sheriff. All the good people are so good at it, you know? <clears throat> they don't miss those shots! Silence. Oh my god, dude. My aim. Damn. 
I'm struggling. Struggling. I hear so many things. What the heck? Damn. There's so many people. You know what? I'm not going to be using this. Let's practice the marshal. Oh, oh I got to hold it down. I forgot. I changed that. getting used to the whole holding down the zoom thing. How is he not dead from that? What the heck? 141? Quick scope too. No. No. Like that. <clears throat> Jeez. Jeez. I guess for that situation, I don't really need to scope in. Oh. <laughs> like this, I don't even have to scope. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should have scoped. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Don't count. It has to be headshots. Come on. No. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. No. Well, maybe this is not a martial day. Is it? Five kills remaining. Give it to me. Give it to me. Peek it. <laughs> <laughs> 